Hello and welcome. Today we are going to learn how we can save data in the database in the server side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here. If I refresh the page, going to the network tab here, when we press the update button, it is going to send our information to the server. First of all, I will check that if they have changed the picture or not. If they do not change the picture, so we don't need to update that in database. So if they do not change it, we will keep the previous one. So I will come to coding here, opening our controller, going to API, user controller, and here is update profile. It is going to accept the request which contain all the information. This is going to check the authenticated user and it is going to check for the image if they have image or not. So what they are going to say, if you have an image or not, you know, every time they send the request, they have the image. Why? If I come here, going to the view profile if I come you know the image the, this photo the photo is it has a value so it is not null or it is not empty so that's why this every time it has the value so what I'm going to say that if this one the current photo that the come with request is going to be equal to the current photo that they have in database this is the current photo they have in database. So let me check in the local host database. So for now, I just want to show you how you can figure out that well, either user has changed the profile or not. Based on that, they can change the we can change their profile information. Otherwise, we do need to upload them in the server. So if I check the default user profile, you know by default the value of the photo is going to be profile.png when they register when we register them or when we, they register from outside so if i go to let i start here users and yes here you know this one is admin and they have the photo is going to be profile that png so what i'm going to say that if they are going to pick a new color the or uh, a new photo this is going to change so i will come here and say the current photo is uh, the requested photo if this is going to be equal to or not equal to yes it is if it is not equal to let's say current photo so we should have a variable called current photo that take the current photo from the user so i will say current photo is equal to user this is going to come from database this one is going to come from the form we have from this form and this one is going to come from database we are going to take from the authenticated user which field the photo so we take the photo and we store that in the current photo here and we just compare it if this is going to be the current one you don't need to upload that one so you don't need to do this one if this is not equal to this one then do this one otherwise just escape and go to the next step by saving the update uh, the user information how you save that you say user update and then you say request all that's it very easy and you can just send the message to that the message was successful now we take the user we update with request all which request all yes you know the request all now if we say request all this is going to take this information and it will save that in the database so what if they uh, the user upload the image and they, they change the user and you know this portion of the code all it is going to do is it is going to take the photo and it is going to upload it to the server so what else we need we need to change this request we should modify the request how we say that there is uh, a field in request called photo and that photo should have a new value the new value is going to be the file name that we have here you know when we save the file in the database if i come to the application here going to my app let i start you know in the public directory we have image we have profiles these are the unique name so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this unique name and store them as a new value in the database so what i can do is i can say after i upload the image the condition is true that they have changed their profile after i upload them 
I am going to take the name which is going to be this name and I'm going to store that if I say here for now this is temporary I will say request for to is equal to name which name this name you know this name is going to be a unique name that is store in the local file and it will store our file and it will give the name and this is going to be the name so the request photo name is equal to the new name we assign to them it is not going to work like this what I'm going to use I'm going to use the merge merge is going to modify the information of the photo so this is uh, it will do basically like this but you should know that how merge is going to work we use the merge like most of time so I will paste the code here this is the request and we call the merge function and we say the photo field should have a new value if it assign a new value on that one no the request when we save it in the database it will change the value and it will assign that to a new value of the photo so this is going to be a new name for the photo and it will save it in the database so if I save it this time let's see if this is going to work so far the user admin you know the admin has the profile that PNG so let's save it as a new file name here if I pick this girl here now I will save it to the database let's see if it is successful or not so far it is going and if I go to the network tab this was successful so if I refresh the page here it should change the user profile here yeah it changed it and if I come here yeah it upload the the user uh, the girl uh, photo here this is the photo I think this one is or which one you pick so let's try again so if I come here and I pick another girl here this time I select let's say which and which which image we do not have here so that yeah that yellow by this one we do not have if I pick this one this time if I click on the update no you can change the information too let's say admin 2 so to confirm that we can change their information too if I click on the update it send the request yeah it is 200 successful and if I come here yeah it upload the image here plus it should change the value here so at the end it is 11 if I change it refresh it loading yeah it has changed here so now we have the user information change here plus this is admin 2 as well as we have the email address and it did, did not change the user password because if I come to view here the password is null by default the password is null so if I come to my controller here so far this function will call it is going to take the user take the current photo what it is not going to do is it is not going to validate any of the information so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up there and take the validation too from the user store so here I will paste it this time this information is going to be required name is required and it, it should not be more than this much and the email is required and the email should be unique so this time we are not able to update user information I will fix it now I will show you how it is going to work let's see how this is going to work if this time uh, I go to the network shop since we change something in the server we do need to refresh our page this time if I change admin let's say admin 3 and we do not change the email we do not change uh, anything in the image if I click on the update pending it should give us an error yes it gave us an error if I go and click on this one going to the response this data is invalid like email email has already been taken the password is a required field so what I'm going to do is I think I told you about this one before too that you can see it is required and you can say some sometimes something like that sometimes is also a kind of validation and level documentation you can learn about this one how about the email I think I talked about the email too that if I come all the way up here 
no we don't have them here we only have the user information updated here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um, do it like this i say i know the email is okay we have it here yeah validation yes we need this this one actually we copy it i thought i have not talked about the how you can see sometimes how you can see the current user if the user email address is from the current user you do need to check the uniqueness of that one so i will come all the way up there and instead of this validation i will paste this one so this is fine for now we check that password is sometimes required and it should be six character okay it should have the required field here so this is fine and the email is required but not for the current user so if i this time if i check out and user 3 and if i save it update it this time it was successful so now we have to uh, see in the database that we have admin 3 refresh the page yes admin 3 did we change the password no we didn't so that's why it was sometimes but there is a problem if i go to view password is undefined so it is fine undefined and if i come here and write something let's say user is going to write something and then let us say okay i don't want to change let's say they say one two three okay now it's one one two three one two three this is the password and it changed the password it should change the password here but it didn't change it here so i'm going to clean it it means we have a mistake here the password is not connected to what we have here so if i come to my profile page here going to see yeah password is equal to empty but we didn't say about the password here that's why it is not going to display it here i will just write this is the label and for the v model oops you know we have already written it for the experience now for the email address for none of them okay only for name we wrote i think for the email also if i come for the password i will write it and i will show you what is the problem with writing v model here so we say this is going to be equal to password pass save it this time i should refresh the page and let's see what is wrong if i come to profile going to the forum we have the password here which is undefined and let's say user is going to change some of their information how about the bio i am a developer where is the bio here no we don't have the bio okay i will add that later yeah here is the the bio here but it is not connected to so for instance they are not going to change their password what they are going to do is they're going to write one two three this has changed one two three and if they remove it now it is empty it is empty now if they send it now update we have an error going to the network profile it failed the password field is required now we put that as empty but this is empty how it worked previous time and it did not work now if i refresh it this time it should work for now if i click on this one going to the network tab it was successful it is success but if i write something and suddenly i remove it okay i clean it i i don't want to change my password if i click this time nope this is wrong so that's why it changed the information and next time it is not going it says that this is an empty string and it should not be empty string so that's why it is going to give us an error and it's not displaying the error in the next video we will handle that and how we can fix those problems so i hope it has been informative for you if you, you have any question feel free to ask below the video and you should know that the reason i show this stuff is because i have faced that myself that's why i just want to let you know if you don't see a problem it will be uh, difficult for you to solve so i have uh, seen this type of problem that's why i just want to show you the problem and then i will show you the solution if i go directly to the solution you will never know that you might have
face such a solution uh, such a problem in the past so i hope it has been informative for you see you in the next video